here with another load. It's been tough. It's been slow from Washington area, from my neck of the woods, eastern Washington, Idaho border and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm not complaining. It's, it is summertime. I love summertime. I love taking time off. If I could, if I could, everybody, if it wasn't for all the drivers that we got to load and take care of and everything else, I would take the whole summer off. I'm serious. I just would that's how bad I love the outdoors and that's how bad I love summertime and lakes and you know doing everything outdoorsy in the summertime so I'm the same way in the winter time I'm the same way in the fall but summer is just special to me I don't know why maybe it's because we only have two months of summer and that's it so that's what it is I'm heading to Coeur d'Alene Idaho right now which is like a from my house I think it's like 35 or 40 miles and picking up out of a hospital there. I think it's a hospital, I haven't put an address in. And then it delivers to a cross dock in uh, Tequila, Washington, which is Seattle area. Um, it's a self load, so you'll get a, it's a perfect chance for you to take notes of how I will be using a ramp today. I'll be using the ramp to load it, and then I'll be using a, my ramp to actually unload it as well, because the location itself is dock high location so which you guys know what dock high means dock high means you have to be like a semi truck dock level height to be able to get loaded or unloaded at that location so I'll have to set up my ramp and then get it up the ramp and out of out of my van onto their dock otherwise there's no other way so double the work but you know it is what it is the load itself, I mean, before, when things were good and, they, and, you know, everybody was doing great, the pay was way different than what it is now. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining too much, but in the end, I think I'll be, so if I got like, say, roughly 40 miles there, 40 miles back, that's 80 miles plus uh, another 300 and another 300 and back, so I got 380 I got 680 miles and the load pays 600 bucks all in which you know your dispatch would need to make something so maybe you would make out 80 cents 85 cents I don't know something like that and have something left over for your dispatch you know it is what it is uh, the other day I heard I heard somebody tell me one of the drivers saying well that load is too cheap and I would you know instead of you know ruining my van for 350 bucks it was already the end of the day and a driver tells me well you know I don't want to you know I don't want to wear and tear my van for 350 bucks I'd rather just you know not even drive you know those 300 whatever miles it was like almost 400 miles or something like that or for somewhere 400 miles so he tells me it's not worth it for him or it wouldn't have been worth it for him to get a load for 450 bucks which he would spend a hundred on fuel and you know in the end he would make 350 clean and that's not good enough for him versus he would rather sleep and wait for something long for the next day well I don't know what the kind of thinking that is for me every day needs to make money otherwise it's a waste of day and you spent more money than you made because you need to eat you know you're you're, you're out and about spending money either on food or on something else because you're bored it doesn't make any sense so in my opinion for me if it wasn't I told him I looked at it in my point of view like if you were me if I was you I mean for me it would be definitely worth it to make 350 clean in one day and and have money that day sleep after delivery because he had to drive all night it was picking up like 7 p.m. and then delivered direct so 400 miles I mean what six hour drive come on maybe eight hour drive depending on you know highways or not highways speeds but come on guys I mean that, that just I don't know can't make everybody happy and can't please everybody but I looked at it from my point of view where I would be happy to make $350 clean and then be ready for the next load you know next day which you unload in a.m. early a.m and then you sleep and then you're good to go again so I don't know I, I don't 
I don't see, he, he told me that, oh, well, you know, for 80 or 85 cents, it's really, it's really not really worth it. And you would never take that loan. Well, here's today, and today it's about that same thing, plus, minus my fuel. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not driving for any more than anybody else when I go. Yeah, I do get out of the house with round trip pays, but that's because I'm in an area where there's hardly any loads. So if I do get out, I do need to get round trip pay back because I know that I'm going to be stuck somewhere. And I, why would I want to be stuck somewhere for a week or two when I have, you know, paperwork and everything else to do in the office? So it doesn't make sense. Hope that, hope that clears, clarifies a few things for the drivers. And I don't know what kind of mentality everybody else has, but my mentality is every day it's better to make some kind of money, maybe not crazy money, but at least 350 bucks you would make versus not make anything at all and wait for the load, another special load the next day. Why? You guys write it in the comments. What would you do in that situation? I don't know. I would definitely take the money and, and do the run and that's it. I do plenty of them. I've done plenty of them over the nine years. I just don't see any, you know, any reason why somebody would have that kind of mentality. The only reason I think maybe is because a person wanted to sleep or a person loves to sleep, you know, and, and does not want to drive all night. So in the end, you know, that kind of money is not worth it for them. Maybe sleep is more important, but it's not like he didn't have enough time to sleep. He had all day to sleep until evening. So, and he unloaded his other load bright and early in the morning. So he had all day until like 7, 7 p.m. to sleep, which is plenty enough. That's just my, my thoughts. Found my stuff. Took a little bit of driving around the building to find it. They told me it was outside, so I found it. There it is. And folks, if you do this, you don't always necessarily have to call these contacts to wait for them and all that kind of stuff. A lot of times, this is what I do. I only call them when I have issues, when I can't find something. You know things like that but when there are instructions of where it is like inside the MRI department you go in the building you find the MRI you go in there and you get it or you know if it's sitting somewhere outside you go look for it first because you just wasted a lot of time by calling contacts then waiting for them a lot of drivers call them but then they're like oh well I want you to show me where it is because the driver doesn't feel like you know going and searching for it himself so he would rather sit and wait I don't know to me that doesn't make sense but then you find yourself a very good spot to park so you're not in the way you don't have to do things twice which this is works out great for me I'm gonna get my ramp unfolded go we'll grab the stuff that's sitting right over there wheel it over here up the ramp and I'm out of here so that's how things work other day had somebody make a comment about my flip-flops well I'll continue to wear flip-flops don't worry but this time I hope you're happy I got shoes on today is with this stuff you just get a good head start and you're in so let's do it now we fold up the ramp and then strap it back up and on the way Now all I gotta do is get my paperwork printed out. I'm actually just gonna stop by the office and print it out. 
and head on over to delivery. So, hope that makes sense for you guys. How I use my ramp, and this could be used any way you want. Ramps like this, a freight is, you know, around 500 pounds, stuff on wheels, and even stuff without wheels, you can still use it because you can get loaded, say if it's a liftgate delivery, but a forklift is loading you, even whatever, say it's a piece like that. You put this down first, my flat dolly, four wheel dolly, or hand truck, I mean, they'll load you on top of your hand truck, say with a freight like that, you just strap it in when you get to your delivery you undo your ramp and all you do is you just wheel your dolly down the ramp and do your inside delivery so yeah maybe i shouldn't be telling you guys all these secrets so all our drivers can keep doing the stuff that we do but i'm just a nice guy what can i do
call that done is what we call it I think that the camera shifted just a little bit I think it shifted so you guys couldn't see everything but it ain't that hard you just got to get set up cor correctly and you can go up you can go up with the stuff it's, it doesn't matter it's very doable so I'm on my way home I tried to fly the drone in a really really cool place stopped but I don't understand this technology stuff is so annoying that I tried I tried I tried I really tried for some reason there's been an update or I don't know what but my drone does not connect basically the drone doesn't connect or the remote doesn't connect to the phone which is so dumb I've already been dealing with that issue a year ago and now same thing again so it's just so so annoying because the Play Store, Google Play Store does not have the DJI Fly app in there it seems like it does but they're like third-party apps they have nothing to do with anything and uh, you got to download it from the main DJI and I've done that again and it doesn't work still but anyways what do you guys need my sob story for I think I should just cough up another thousand and uh, you know buy another drone that comes with its own remote control another DJI one and then and, and go that route because connecting it to the phone it's already been annoying yeah I just hate it don't like it what can we do we just live with what we got so thank you guys for watching this is a finished delivery 600 gross in my pocket minus fuel um, you know that's what it is yeah. that's that's how things are these days I'm not complaining I'm glad that I even had such a run I didn't really want to do it but I just got it done just because you know we have a good relationship with with these guys with the broker so I had to I had to just go get it done you know no matter what but it's all good you know our drivers drive for the same exact rates so you guys know you guys are out there if you're out there you know what the rates are these days that's how things are so we'll see maybe there's a cool place I'll stop by maybe there isn't maybe I'll take a swim over there in Vantage again and I'll show you guys what's going on out there I guess we'll see let's go get home